Hello everybody, I am the Child Investigator and welcome back to Angels with Scary Reads. So we've just started chapter 2 after a nice little outing with uh, Remy. Yes, Remy. Um, so, it's another day, another morning. I awoke from dreams filled with fire and smoke. The sun shining through the window gave me a comforting feeling of familiarity, despite the problem in the distance reminding me of my purpose here. I looked towards the horizon, my view undisturbed by dividing walls. The light of the morning sun was painting the sky with golden hues, a view that had become a rarity back home. It evoked a feeling of freedom and openness that was almost scary to me. While I got ready for the day, my thoughts strayed to the people I knew back home. I couldn't help but wonder how they were doing. But I had greater things to worry about at the moment, like Razor, murders, and generators. How much danger was there in really? Ping pong. Ah, Bryce, that's your name. Have you recovered from me winning that drinking contest? Winning? That's, that, that's the thing that I did. I won. Hey, Charlie, good to see you again. Likewise, I hope you're in the mood for some good old fashioned police work. I'm not really in the mood to cross this today. Are you sure it's not me up? It's not like I've got. It's not like I have anything really. Sure, sign me up, I guess. Great. Oh, wait. Completely abandoned the voices have Um. We obtained a list of places Razor visited in the days before he vanished. We'll check those out. Maybe find a lead. And you might help us understand the motivations or give us some context to his actions. I can certainly try. I'm sure you'll do great. A great job. That's reassuring. Are you ready to go? Sure, let's go. There's a couple of places we can check out. Let's see where we should go first. My voice focused on this list. I saw a certain approach at the point of my eye. The first one looked revealed that it was Sebastian, waving his arms in an attempt to get our attention as he ran towards us, his face great. That's not good. There you are, Chief. I was looking for you. What are you doing here? Don't tell me there's another dead person. Sorry, Chief. There is. Damn. Guess it's gonna be one of those days. Yeah, looks that way. Someone else can take care of that today, though. We've got other plans. You need to sign off on a few things, at least. I know, I know. We'll go to the crime scene, sign a few forms, and then we're out. When we arrived at the scene, I saw the poor victim next to one of the houses. Really nice houses. The obligatory sheet that was draped over him provided a modicum of discretion, but did nothing to hide the crime that had occurred. Alright, alright, give me the story. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. The wounds match those of the last victim, so a similar, if not identical, murder weapon is likely. The victim, maintenance person for this area, and the electricity is out. The power goes out, maintenance guy shows up, and is cured before he can fix the problem. At least that's my theory. So the power for the whole block is still out? That is correct. We should get that fixed as soon as possible. We don't need to be showing up around here complaining about sitting in the dark. Good point. Bryce is not wrinkled with distaste as he glances over Sebastian's shoulder. Damn, not again. What is it? Ugh. What are you doing here, Maverick? A second victim, huh? This is an official but this is an official This is an official investigation, so you better not cross that police line. Shunned by my own colleagues. This is ridiculous. You know how it is, rules are rules, and without rules, murders like this one would be allowed to happen and go unpunished. <laughs> Have your fun without me then. Bye. What do you think you wanted here, Chief? That one's easy, to do his own investigation, just like he said he would. I shouldn't be surprised he showed up, but I guess we're lucky he re-arrived before he did. I agree. We better check out that pop we better check out that power footage now. Of course. I think the door to the maintenance room is around here. You got your flashlight set? Alright, Chief. You should go first then. I don't have my stuff here. Besides putting on that head mount. Is such a hassle. I remember you complain about that every time it comes up. 
there, that should do the trick. You just stay behind me, Trevor, all right? Okay. God, it stares. I suppose those made for smaller dragons like you. Trust me, having it the other way around isn't too great either. I don't mind stairs. I just like all kinds of stairs. So I say nothing. Yeah. I don't like stairs either. I've got asthma. I just I just like all kinds of stairs, period. That's what I'm talking about. This kind of reminds me of when we found that underground base or whatever it was. Remember, Chief? How could I not? It wasn't that long ago. Underground base? Yeah. The port wasn't the only piece of ancient technology we found. There's also this whole lab near it. it seemed to have some high-tech stuff in there. At least that place didn't have as many stairs. Wait, so you not only found the portal, but a whole facility along with it? Yes, but we're not sure how much the two are actually related. We spent all that time studying the portal and barely got anywhere with it. This stuff is just beyond what we know. Here we are. Well, this isn't creepy at all. So what exactly are we doing? We're looking for. Whatever's causing the power outage. If we don't find the cause, we should at least be able to get the backup money. Looks like the generator's gone. Mystery solved. The sound of creaking metal penetrated the surface of the room. I looked above toward the source of the noise as it grew louder, and in the next instant I was pushed sideways and fell to the ground, just barely avoiding the giant light fixture that fell from the ceiling and shattered into countless pieces alongside me. Traveler, are you alright? The next thing I saw was a hooded figure standing above me, barely visible against the darkness that permeated the room. Hmm. Um. The figure crouched down next to me, its mask hovering right in front of my face. Merely a whisper reached my ears when it spoke. Be careful, traveler. Well, oh, fuck you. Then the figure dashed towards the stairs. Where are you going? That's... That's not me. Don't move. He's going up the stairs. I'm on it. I didn't see that chair coming. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing in here. Here, Chief. I hate these stupid stairs. You're blocking the way. Just go around me. There's no room. You're as wide as the stairs are. I can't help it. Damn it, we'll never catch him now. He's fucking through a chair. By the time we found our way back up, the mysterious figure was nowhere to be found. We've got a long search ahead of us. And with a head start like that, there might be no end to it. We have to take our chances as long as we still can. Except that chance is growing smaller and smaller while we wait for the team to arrive. What even happened down there? Right, Travel tells everything in as much detail as you can. There wasn't much to it. I heard a noise, I looked up, light fissure came down, then someone pushed me. You mean Razor. Honestly, I'm not so sure. Could have been. I mean, that was my first instinct, but he just was like, be careful, traveler. It could have been. I mean, it was a humanoid figure, so, and there's only one other humanoid, so. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you see him? Whoever it was was wearing a mask. 
it bloody well can't be someone else. So let's not kill ourselves. I mean, yeah, there's, there's only one other human here. Why would he wear that whole getup, though? He didn't want to be recognized. That's some sort of camouflage or protection. He didn't want to be recognized. That's a bad excuse when there are only two humans here. This is also true. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Wrong voice. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Your earlier theory about what happened was pretty sound, Sebastian. Let's go with that and add the bit about the generator being stolen. So now the question is, who has a motive for stealing a generator? Do we know, really? I have no idea. I suppose Razor, yeah. Right. Who else would need to steal a generator when those who live here could either buy or even simply request one? Not to mention Razor was the only one who arranged a diplomatic trade for the generators in the first place. Place. I can't deny the fact that your generators are pretty important to us, but restoring them, resorting to murder? We all saw the human figure running away. Where would he have stayed here if he stole it? Maybe it was a dragon in disguise. Nah. Are you sure we saw him running away? Why would he remain here if he was the one who stole it? The generator was already gone when we got here, and the person in question wasn't carrying it either. Perhaps this is a case where the criminal has returned to the crime scene. For this kind of crime, I'd say no, but who knows? Maybe our rules just don't apply anymore. What do you mean? No offense, but ever since you two humans arrived, there have been a lot of strange things going on. This place used to be a quiet town. So you think it was raised? You're starting to sound like Maverick. Maybe this whole thing is just a huge misunderstanding. I'm thinking it's Razor too. Honestly, things aren't looking great for him right now. It's still a top priority to find him, but after we've seen after what we've seen here today, I'm not sure what will happen when we do. I just don't want to give you any false hope, you know? I see. Maybe we should just focus on finding him and point fingers later. Agreed. The police team will be here any moment now. You don't really have to get involved with the search, but that doesn't mean you can't help us. What do you want me to do? We still have the list of places we are going to check out, remember? We can't go now, the search takes priority. Of course, we'll still check out those places after we're done here, but if you go on your own, you can speed up the process. You could even find a lead for us, who knows? Sure thing, you must really... Uh, sure thing. Great. Here's the list. Considering your status, you shouldn't have any trouble in these places, but if anything happens, call me and I'll check on, on you later. Wait a minute, you mean I'm going out by myself? All of us are going to be busy with the search, and we can't really afford to spare us all right now. You'll be fine. Aren't you worried I'll do something fishy? I mean, isn't that my reason I were assigned police experts in the first place? That policy was mostly Maverick's fault. And he's out of the picture. With my authority as chief, I say you can go along. I already know where you're going, and besides, I trust you. If you were in cahoots with Racer, you would have run off with him when you had the chance. Good point. Ah, I see the team approaching. Guess you should get going. Alright, I'll see you later then. Good luck. I thought I'd point that. Ooh, these are pretty. It really. Mm. It was a relief to leave the crime scene, considering all that had happened. When I reached into my pocket to take a, look, take a look at the list, however, I found something unexpected. It was a small piece of paper with the word Tatsu written on it. How did it get here? Tatsu? Tatsu, Tatsu, Tatsu. Isn't it one of the words for dragon? Yeah, I think that's... I think that's one of the ways to read the kanji for dragon. My early encounter with the masked person was the only time today someone was close enough to smoke or something into my pocket. I figured if someone like Rice tried to do something like that, I definitely would have noticed. As for Tatsu, the only related thing I could think of was Tatsu Park, which I had come across when I went to the police station the other day. Even if that park was the place the mysterious paper referred to, I didn't know if it was actually good idea to visit. The masked person may have saved me from falling from the falling fixture, but if it was Razor, it would mean following someone who is also the prime suspect of two murders. I also had to consider the list of places Razor had been to, a local grocery store, 
the production facility we had visited and the library were the three places were the three, three places closest to here. It certainly was going to be a busy day and I knew I couldn't have the time to visit all of them. Mm, definitely not going to Dragon Park, visit the grocery store, visit the production facility, visit the library. Mm, let's go to the library first. Alright Razor, what did you want here? Hey, it's Remy. I already told you it's not here. What's not here? Who's he talking to? Adine? Won't you help out an old friend? F friend? This is the first time you've spoken to me in years. And whose fault is that? For you, I didn't even exist those last, these last few years. At least I tried to reach out to you. No, you're just here because you want something. I'm right here, right now, and you still continue to act like that. She is my friend too, you know. Dot, dot, dot. I think you should leave. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. For everything. It's a little late for apologies. Have it your way then. Adine stormed out so quickly that she didn't even notice me. I waited a few minutes and wondered if it was a good idea to talk to Remy. In the end, I decided that my task was too pressing to come back at another time. I shuffled through the books and tried to look busy until I noticed he seemed to squirt so I could approach him. Oh, hello, traveler. Good to see you. Do you need anything? Has Razor been here recently? Oh, where did you Razor? He's visited quite often since he arrived, actually. Until a few days ago, that is. Do you know what he was reading? Not particularly. I thought he just wanted to learn about our world. Did you notice anything unusual about him while he was here? Can't say I did, though he did ask me for a map once. A map? Yes, I showed him a few, but none of them seemed to be what he was looking for. Did he talk to you about anything strange while he was here? Besides the maps, nothing else worth mentioning comes to mind. Only the usual pleasantries. How are you doing then? I'm not sure to be honest. There are a lot of things in my mind right now. Like what? I'm not liberty to discuss them at this moment. I'm supposed to be working, you know. I'm not gonna be nosy. I'm not gonna be nosy. That's all. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Oh, okay. That means I can... I got some more time left. What should I do? Production facility. I think that's... Razor was allegedly here at some point. Maybe I should ask Anna. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody here? Hello? I was just looking for Anna. This is her lab, right? Why don't I ever get any recognition? This is my lab as much as it is hers. Either way, Anna is not here. Would that be all? Since you work here, maybe you can help me instead. Oh, of course. Your precious Anna isn't here, so you'll have to settle for me. I see how it is. That's not what I meant. Of course, of course. Let's just get this over with. You can stop telling me who you are. Here's a short version. My name is Damien. I work in this facility and I'm unfortunate enough to live the nightmare of having to deal with Anna on a daily basis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And you are... You don't know who I am? Tch. Of course I know who you are, but your assumption validated the point I was going to make. You see, this whole thing about you coming here has been blown out of proportion, like it's some huge event that everyone should be celebrating. Newsflash, not everyone cares. Once both of you are gone, life will return to normal, and we all can go back to what we actually should be doing. Imagine all this has to do with those human myths you have. I can only reiterate, not everyone cares. What exactly did you want again? Has Razor been here again? 
Do you know anything about Razor's visits to this facility? I've seen, I've seen a lot, I've seen him a few times. He would come by to ask about the progress of the generators. <sighs> there was this one time when Anna told him she'd have news, but when he came over, she just wanted to run some tests on him. Did he go through with it? No, he wanted some compensation, I suppose. Nothing she could offer satisfied him, however, and that was that. What kind of research are you doing, then? Right now? Guess you got tasked with running all those tests on your blood. You did? That's right. While she goes out and does whatever the heck she wants, I get to keep an eye on the experiment. Any interesting results? Not just yet, but soon we'll know more about your body than you do. Have you known Anna? Why do you care about that? You don't to find out what kind of person she is. You might have an idea. I'll put it this way. I've known her far too long. Okay, then. Fine, then. That's all. Thanks for your help. Yeah, yeah. The afternoon sun hung low in the sky, and I decided it was time to report my findings to the police. A brief call to the department, and I was on my way to an appointment with Sebastian. I'm not sure how my feelings will help, but at least I have some. My findings will help, but at least I have something. I can't read. Look who we have here. Ah, Jesus. I turned around to see Maverick. His intense gaze confirmed that there was no one else his words could have been directed at. Even with the civilians passing by in the background, I suddenly felt very alone. What do you want from me? Answers. What if I don't have any for you? Okay, then start talking. Just tell me one thing. Why? What is your goal in all of this? Why even come here? You know why. We came as ambassadors for humanity. Yeah. <clears throat> no, no, no. That won't do. That's simply not true. You know it, and I know it. I just don't get why you can't be honest with me, even when you know no one else is listening. You know I can't touch you. If I did, it would be over for me, at least as long as I don't have any proof. In the end, what difference does it make if I know? No one is going to believe me anyway. Do you wish to kill me too, like Razor? I would never do such a thing. Is that so? Tell me, tell me, why would an ambassador need such a dangerous tool in the first place? I know you claim not to have any, have one of those things Razor injured me with, and you didn't have any when they searched you. But I guess it's way too late for safety precautions at this point. You could have hidden one anywhere. That damn hurt, you know. But even worse than that was getting thrown aside by Bryce. I trust him, but after what happened, he doesn't trust me anymore. Now there's only you, the mythical, the special, the new. How much I wish I could make him see what I see. I could have saved the world with what I did that day, and it still wouldn't matter when no one believes me, just because I don't have any proof. But I won't stop until I find something. And when I do, I'm going to be a damn hero. Okay. You're off your rocker, mate. And with that, he was gone. On the way to the police station, my patrols kept finding their way back into my mind. I couldn't decide how to feel about them. It's out of his fucking mind. I wasn't even sure if it was worth mentioning to the police since all he did was make vague accusations. There wasn't anything substantial enough to, con to be considered a threat. However, his actions were growing more calculated, and he seemed very sure of himself. I wondered about this, what this could amount to, but that wasn't the problem at hand. I'd mention it. If I get the chance to, I'm going to. Hey, traveler. Hey, Sebastian. I thought I'd meet you to, I, I thought I'd meet you at the front desk. What are you doing in Bryce's office? He does have a nice office, doesn't he? And the chairs are comfy. Is that the only reason we're in here? The dragon gave a brief chuckle. <laughs> Let's just say that any information pertaining to this case is important enough to warrant some privacy. I see. Will Bryce be here anytime soon? I don't think so. He's still outside looking for Razor. He's not the kind of person who gives up easily. That sounds like him. He's your good about can Can't we help? Can't we help? <laughs> There's only so much we can do. I was out searching until I came to meet you. At this rate, it doesn't look like we'll find him today. He could be anywhere, long gone beyond our reach. What do you think? To be honest, I don't know. I think he's... To be honest, I don't know. 
I have no idea what he's doing or what his plan is really. I wonder what will happen to our trade agreement now, considering Ray's is still missing the murders and the stolen generator. If Razor really is Razor really is the murderer, then don't do that. What? Worry. You don't know what's at stake here. People are dead, Traveler. Do you think I don't know that? Razor may be a middle. Razor may be a prime suspect, but he's also a missing person. For all we know, he could be a victim. Maybe someone is making him do this. My point is, we don't know the facts yet. What we need to do is find him and find the murderer. Go find Razor and go from there. We'll figure it out. Thanks, Sebastian. Anyway, he says you have some information for us, so what did you find? I'm not sure there's anything special about Anna wanting Razor's blood. I mean, she's a scientist, so it's natural that she'd be interested in something like that. We'll have to talk to her about it, though. Maybe she has some more details for us. The map in the library, I don't know what to think about that. He could have needed a map to plan something, I suppose, but who knows what he really wanted to do with it. It's the kind of detail that, on its own, might not tell us much, but it could be proved crucial later on. Well done, Traveler. That gives us some solid points from which we can continue our investigation. We did well on the second investigation. Cool. In any case, thanks for your help. We really do appreciate it. You're welcome. That should be all, then. Since Bryce still hasn't come back, I assume the search is still going on. And I better get out there and help him. Guess it's going to be a long day. Can you find your way back to your apartment? Of course. Alright, I'll see you later. Good luck. Finally some free time. Whatever am I going to do? I am going to save and end the episode here. In the next episode, or the first, here on the next episode I will meet with Bryce again since I wasn't able to record the one that I did do uh, two episodes ago so uh, with that being said thank you all so much for watching if you liked it hit that like button to love hit the subscribe button too and I'll see you in the next video bye bye